hey welcome back to your girl channel so tonight i have bestie with me and tomorrow is my sister's gender reveal and we are attempting to do a diy backdrop i went to lowe's and um i said i was gonna say full depot i must be hungry i went to home depot to get some pvc pcp pvc pipes and they cut them to the right lens for me because i saw this girl um video on youtube and yeah so y'all finna watch us attempt to put up this backdrop for tomorrow and her ass over there trying to get some damn candles from bath and body works i was about to get me some today but that line i was like let me just go girl when i went in dollar tree to get these tablecloths I'm like, girl, they was all the way down there by Party City. Oh, no. No. And you want me to come get in that line? I didn't know it was no. going to be a line. I thought it was going to be in and out. And I was going to call you and be like, so I'm in here. <laughs> but, <laughs> nah. Mm -mm. But, Hold on. I thank y'all so much for y'all encouraging words in my last vlog. That means a lot to me. That means a really lot to me. And, you know. The fact that I got y'all, we a family. We on this road with each other, okay? So, whatever happens, I'm letting y'all know what's up with your girl. So, be ready for that whenever I go to the doctor or just anything. I, you know, I'll be letting y'all know because y'all really gave me some encouraging words in that last vlog. And, you know, just got to stay strong and pray to. Here are all the supplies that we need about to start you want to come help babe I guess uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come help <laughs> dang <laughs> i gotta look at the video because your girl mm. tell them how we met bestie While we looking at the video and trying to assemble this backdrop, we're going to tell you how we met. How I met my bestie. We literally been friends for 13 years now. Yep. That's a long time. Since the 8th grade, 2008. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all how I met her. Then she's going to tell you how she met me. It might be different. I don't know. But... I met her in, I met her at school first. I was like, okay, she was a new bitch, you know. And that it was bitch. like, who is this new wee? And then, <laughs> so happened, we lived in the same neighborhood. And so, we just really clicked off ever since. I was a bit much. My mouth got me mm. into a lot of, and she, she's a Taurus. I'm a Gemini. So it was just like, she didn't know how to take me in the beginning. Yeah, I'd be real, like, quiet in the beginning. I have to yeah. feel people out. So, Quinise is very outgoing all the time. Yeah. Which is a good thing. It's a good balance. Yeah, because she's very quiet. And so you get to, well, I'm not that quiet. Like when she don't know nobody, people will think like, okay, what's up with her? <laughs> but she really just laid back. And that's a tourist yeah. for you because my sister Gariel is just like that. She's literally just like that. Only difference between them two is she'll go out and turn up and Gariel yeah, will not thanks. go out and turn up. <laughs> Sue is a homebody. So that's why she's pregnant now, honey. She's going to go nowhere. Give her something to do other than watch YouTube like and Hulu. <laughs> 
Yeah, she said she met me in school. I don't really remember that. I feel like we met in the villas because I didn't really talk to you that much. Like I came in like half the semester was over. It was like the end of eighth grade. I think I got introduced to you at school and that was really it. Like I got introduced to so many people and it was just like, okay, hey. Like I kind of just say to myself, it wasn't like me and like two of my other friends. And then when we find out we lived in the villas, that's when the it relationship really started, started yeah. forming. Yeah. Cause it, yeah, in the beginning we wasn't like, oh girl, blah, blah, blah. We really didn't get close until that summer. Yeah. And that's when it was like, that's why I don't want, that's why I don't want no dog. But <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. We ain't going to talk about it. We ain't going to talk about it. Okay. We ain't going to talk about it. But that's when we got closer. That's when oh we my God. <laughs> <laughs> we had the best times. Yeah. Good memories. Very good memories. Two Come in, Jared. Tell the folks how you met Janice. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> friend man i'm gonna pull up on you very much and i'm like what the fuck <laughs> and i'm like all right then, okay bye he always make me sad to <laughs> <work. laughs> i'm like what the fuck <laughs> and my friend fucked up <laughs> jerry like, for the oh, streets no. he had me stressed out when we was Ooh. um dating we we'll talk. He is, we weren't dating to him. That's when we was talking. He had me stressed out. Had me crying to her, calling her one o'clock in the morning. Crying. Both of us stressed out. Stressed out. And she was like, "Give me his number. I'm, I'm gonna about call, to call him." him. Bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> so she called him. He was like, "Why you had your friend call me? Don't have nobody call me." <laughs> She finna come pull up on me, y'all. Right. And I'm sure the fuck was. <laughs> he said, "All right, all right." So both y'all, both y'all, but both of us wait. <laughs> both of us wait. You and your little cap of friends can get beat up. Yeah, no, that's right. <laughs>
Let me find out your girl's bought the builder. Get your girl. <laughs> so, gender reveal thing is kind of a cool little spot. How I wonder what you are. Y'all see you going to book my girl for your baby shower. <laughs> On the street. Oh, you rob. I got that on the street. <laughs> on the street, where? So many. <laughs> Over day camps. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> Talking <laughs> shit. Hell, the, the cake, the, it was used for my own, but you call it a shower. <laughs> All you gotta do is put a tablecloth on the head. Well, that's good Not enough. That I mean, do you necessarily <laughs> want them to see the. How we wonder what we are. Should we retape it and push it back? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I think you should kind of catty corner it so people can kind of take pictures of you. Get the cake. I agree. Can you lock that door? <laughs> huh. Can you lock it? You moved it. You turned it. You what? locked that one. You didn't lock that one. You turned the table around, baby. Oh. You got a table cover? It's not given. Huh? Well, we're not finished, are we? Yeah, I guess. We'll, we'll sit up. I don't know. I ain't no such a shit. You do uh, not have a lot of me. <laughs> what? I know it ain't. Mm. Alright, girl. So you were trying to get the uh, book and put it in your bio. I am. <laughs> See, it looks better already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Who I just don't want no front now. Yeah. I just don't want nobody to hit it, trying to come out this way. Hit what? Sliding over some. If they can see and walk. Sliding yeah. over some. If you see it, Jared, come do it. 
Great. That's good. Now you ain't got no reason to be over there. Why are you pulling it up? I'm pulling it down so it don't show the ugly thing. Yeah, that'd be a straight. Looks good. You finna put some bloom to it, man? Yeah. And voila, <laughs> Manji. Yeah, but let me get some of the Cheeto Puff, man. Huh? You want some? You love it, but my dog gonna keep that flame on hot. <laughs> <And I'll, laughs> no questions there. Oh, my gosh. You not even have a shortage on hot Cheetos? You would only be the person, the only person that... No, Kiana that. actually sent that to me. But, <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why she would send that to me. <laughs> but still, I was like, since when the fuck niggas is on the Cheeto wave like that? You the, you the originator. I am the originator. This bitch. Bro, hey. are you pulling up? At, is that the only chip you buying? Yeah. I mean, I, I switch it up. What it just mean? flame my hot. What? But oh, so I get crunchy. Get the fries, the crunchy puffs. You going hot? The barbecue, but it's going hot. It's going regardless. There's no question about it. Oh my god, you different. You eat takis and all that shit. I don't like takis though. That now I don't really like the lime, like anything with like lime chips. Yeah, oh, so you don't like the twisted lime flavor? Yeah, nah. They in high school. I had a bag Her every ass day. Had a bag of hot Cheetos every, every day. Every day. Eat. Yeah. I'm like, how can you do that? Every day. Like even in the pictures that we had at high school, you would see a fucking bag of hot Cheetos in my hand. And you was doing that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hot like if I was like one of those people that like God forbid like I get freaking stomach ulcer or something from eating hot shit for so fucking long, you would I would be why. sad as but, fuck. But you know why? Though. I would be depressed. <laughs> she don't know why. Yeah, like, <laughs> They'd be like, um, Janisha, you have a hole in your throat. <laughs> How man, big is it? Like, man, do you eat a lot is of hot food? Is it too big that I gotta stop eating? <laughs> do you eat a lot of hot food? Uh, not too much. Not really. <laughs> I will fucking deny. I'm like, I need a second opinion because this, this is just not okay. subscribe all that good stuff we vlogmas in again
Probably.